okay folks let's talk a little bit about the dessert food chain now dessert food chain in 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 all the food chains the most common thing is you know uh, there is link between us that means uh, we all are connected right so from the producer level in the top predator level everyone is connected with each other so if one particular species is taken out from that food chain it will ultimately lead to the fall of that ecosystem and that's why biodiversity conservation is all about every sh we should take care of every single species on earth that's what we talk about you know uh, in like any other food system or food wave actually this is we are going to talk about the food food wave majorly now in this food wave there should be a producer and there should be consumer the producers are always plants because you can see here this is in, in desert the plants are less but there are plants there are flowers you can see in plants there are cactus and all those different types of plants present in desert so plants are there even if it's a desert there are plants managed to survive there managed to store some water there and they are growing beautifully and creating uh, the other habitats there so whatever habitats they produce using those uh, those features and producing uh, producing food other creatures will live on that particular food sources right so these are the producers thanks to producers because if producers are not there nobody will survive so if the producers are there after that uh, there are certain primary consumers that are feeding on to that producers and also they are also uh, relying on that producer for their habitat too for example insects lizards rodents and these things are very much common in in you know desert because you you can't see too much of uh, other predators there because um, the variety of uh, of the biodiversity is limited and their their morphological structure is also limited there so you can see here insects lizard or rodents are are placed there right so insects are feeding on to the producer directly lizards are also doing that rodents are also doing that so they are doing their their job they are habitating this this place right so after that part it comes down to the actual uh, food habit and uh, predation and that thing comes down from here because you know uh, there is taran tarantula and tarantula is uh, is again another insect right it's a spider species of spider but it will feed on to other insects like ants beetles so here we go scorpion is a, again another arthropod but it will eat on to the other arthropods like beetles ants so on again lizards are always interested in in eating all those uh, insects so they always eat the insects there right that's that's uh, one part if you look at the second part you see uh, there are I mean uh, animals like snakes snakes will feed on rodents because they love to feed on to rodents right snakes sometimes feed on lizards but not all the time right so just exclude lizard from this place right now and the top level predators so these are the these are the secondary consumers you know primary consumers are insects lizards rodents the primary consumers the secondary consumers are snake scorpion tarantula and the top level consumers or the tertiary consumers here they are hawk and fox so fox can eat snake from there can take lizard right similarly hawk can also take lizard hawk can also take snake okay they can also take certain insects from from here also right so majorly this is how the whole uh, ecosystem of desert is made from the producers to the top level tertiary consumers right now if you imagine if we drag one of uh, the animal away from the system for example if we take snake away from the system then the population of rodents will rise and if the population of rodents raise so much they will feed on to this uh, this uh, trees and ultimately the producer contents will go down and rest of other consumers will not get food to eat that will be uh, anarchy similar thing happens if, if, if we take this fox away 
right for example if you take the fox away in that case also the snake population will rise the lizard population will rise so if the snake population rises they will kill all the rodents there so it will be free from rodents and snake cannot directly eat onto the uh, eat onto this uh, this this plant directly so who will be the intermediate snake will also die so everyone is connected that's the message